Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Route X Lap Attack. Today we're going to be using this car, the GR4 Honda NSX. This was another request from my friend Pete Reimer. Well actually he didn't request that I do the Union Pacific Nova, I just did that for fun. Dedicated that to him. But when I showed him a um, Union Pacific Camaro I did in the crew too, he requested that I do a Burlington Northern car. Now I know the Honda doesn't look exactly like a Burlington Northern train, but it's close enough. Really all you need is the green paint. Now, in a previous episode I did... Well actually no, I tried doing this earlier, but the sound quality of my mic was not good. So we are going to delete this lap time and try again. Also, I want to see if we can get a faster lap time by putting this down to 211. I've mentioned this before, you don't want your top speed being too high. Typically, the higher your speed limit is set to on the on the uh, transmission, your car will go faster. But you don't want to set it too high, otherwise it will go slower. Our top speed on the straightaway was 196 miles per hour, but now that the transmission is set to 211, we should be able to go a little bit faster. Make sure all the power goes where it has to go. Because I think I did that a while ago and I got up to 198. I mean, if it doesn't make much of a difference, we at least know what time it's going to get. It's going to end up uh, in 20th. Someone already liked the video that I uploaded earlier with the NSX. But, as I said, I had to delete that because the sound quality for my headset was not good. The volume itself was uh, not high enough. Alright, so it looks like there is no change in speed. Oh wait, yes there is. We are now doing 197. I wonder if we can maintain the speed at 198 after we go down the hill. We're going to go up to 200 once we start going downhill. When we get on the level slope, like when we stop going downhill, I wonder how fast we can be able to maintain our speed. Our slowest was 190. That's pretty good. I think the fastest will be 200. A while ago, oh, 201, even better. 202, yes. We'll definitely get a better lap time than we did earlier, but I don't think it'll be enough to get us a higher position than 20th. When I was testing the 4 or 5 eights, I said that I was no longer going to test any GR4 racing cars. And the reason for that is because of all these uh, modifications they do. Like, it's limited to compared to a streetcar. You can't get it to go faster than 200, mostly. And I realized these modifications, they are made to make them more aerodynamic when turning, not when going straight. So this kind of track that we are on right now is not the um, perfect territory for our car right now. This is the first turn that we'll be uh, doing. Actually, one of two, I, I should say. It's like NASCAR. But we're going the wrong way. And the track is much longer than anything NASCAR can ever come up with. For now. Usually NASCAR is going to also do 200 miles per hour, but I'm waiting to see if they can go any faster later on in the future. I, I wouldn't be surprised if 20 years from now they're able to do 300 miles an hour. Then we need a track like this, make things more exciting. Or make things go faster and keep all the original tracks and everyone will be much happier. Because a lot of people, they say they don't like NASCAR because the races usually take too long. I also realized I made a mistake all the way back when I was filming the very first episode for this series, when I was testing the Hyundai Genesis, which I had to get rid of 
because I was not happy with it, and then I realized I made a mistake, got another Genesis for free, and painted that in BNSF colors. I did get another GR4 Genesis. The BNSF one we tested earlier is GR3. I'm going to test the GR4 Genesis earlier, but that mistake I mentioned earlier, when I was testing the Genesis in the very first episode, I said that I was going to test a Mustang Mach 1, but I screwed up, forgot about that, and went for the Super instead. So once I finish testing this NSX, as well as the Genji Edition, which is basically just a standard NSX in silver with green stripe, I will then test the Mach 1. Then we'll get to the GR4 Genesis that I got for free. It's also painted in orange, but not quite a BNSF paint scheme. You'll see for yourself what I've come up with. There are times where I like to make my own custom paint schemes for racing cars like this, but other times I like to keep it simple. It's great that they actually allow you to customize your own cars now, like you can do whatever you want. You don't have to stick with a basic color and no stripes or whatever. You can add whatever you want. I love it. A lot of people really like doing that with the Nova too. I've noticed uh, some people doing the NASCAR version of the 1967 Nova. And I think they've also got some of those for the Challenger. Challengers, if I remember correctly, they were never part of NASCAR. The Charger was. There was also the Plymouth Superbird. Alright. If I remember correctly, the time we got earlier was a 545 or maybe a 546. Let's see if we can do any better. Well, we did go faster downhill than the previous attempt. We'll see. Alright, we got 544. Definitely better than last time, but as I said, I don't think that's going to be enough to get us um, any spot higher than 20th. We will check right now. All the way down here at the bottom. Yep, there we are. We are just a second slower than the GR4458, which is also slower than the GT3458, which I guess you could say is also GR3. And of course, there's also another Ferrari, the 1971 Dino. When, it, when we test the Genji edition of the Honda NSX, we're probably going to end up in a much higher position, somewhere between here and probably the other 458 in second place. See you then.